Good morning. This is Agashvani Kohima. The morning news are read by Jonas Yentan. United Nations Secretary General Antonio Guterres yesterday warned the international community not to further escalate tensions with the reprisals against Iran, while the U.S. warned the Security Council that it would work to hold Tehran accountable at the U.N. Speaking to a meeting of the U.N. Security Council, Guterres told the member states that the U.N. Charter bars the use of force against the territorial integrity or political independence of any state. Strongly condemning Iran's attack on Israel, the U.N. chief stressed that neither the region nor the world can afford another war. He called for an immediate cessation of the hostilities. Guterres urged all parties to exercise maximum restraint to avoid any action that could lead to major military confrontations on multiple fronts in the Middle East. The Ministry of External Affairs yesterday expressed serious concern over the escalating tensions between Israel and Iran. The ministry said that the country is seriously concerned about the escalation of hostilities between Israel and Iran, which threatens the peace and security in the region. The ministry also highlighted that it is closely monitoring the evolving situation and the embassies in the region are in close touch with the Indian community. Calling for an immediate de-escalation, the ministry emphasized the importance of maintaining security and stability in the region. It further urged both the nations to step back from violence and return to the path of diplomacy. Congress President Malikarjun Arjun Kharke yesterday criticized BJP's election manifesto, saying it must not be trusted, as it could not do anything for the poor in the last 10 years. Speaking to media after addressing a public meeting in Nakpu, he said, The youth are looking for jobs. Inflation is rising, but the Prime Minister is not worried about these issues. Leader and Delhi Minister Atishi referred to the BJP's election manifesto as Jumla Batra and accused the party of not fulfilling its promises even after staying in power for 10 years. Criticizing the manifesto, RJD leader and former Bihar Deputy Chief Minister Dejeswi Yadav said it has no mention of youths, farmers or employment and nothing for states like Bihar. Telangana Chief Minister Revan Reddy has dubbed the BJP's manifesto a post-dated check drawn on a failing bank. Reddy asserted that a Congress led by Rahul Gandhi will end people's misery. Vice-Chancellor of Nagaland University, Lumami, Professor Jagadish K. Bhatnaik, released a newsletter, MassCom Chronicle, of the Department of Mass Communication at Lumami recently. Congratulating the department on the release of the newsletter, the Vice-Chancellor suggested for bringing out a diploid-sized monthly newspaper with an outreach news beyond the campus. He noted that Naga society is a rich, flourishing society, but unable to capitalize its richness. But Nike therefore urged the students to take active part in disseminating positive ideas, information and messages to inform the masses about its important impact. The Vice-Chancellor also proposed to rename the department as Journalism and Mass Communication and to start a bachelor's degree such as Journalism and Mass Communication, along with a master's program. Further, the Vice-Chancellor stressed on having dual degrees as per the national education policy and urged the department to increase its intake of students and proposed for more faculties. Assam Rifles yesterday organized a wreath-laying ceremony in honor of Rifleman General Duty laid Noxar Ao at his native Mangmetung village in Mukukchung, who made the supreme sacrifice for the nation on 14 April 2009 in general area of Leisin Gongkan, located in Kamchong district of Manipur. Officers, JCOs and ORs, including NOK and relatives of rifleman Laid Noxar Au attended the ceremony. Chief of the Naval Staff, Admiral R. Hari Kumar, will present gallantry and distinguished service awards on behalf of the President at Naval Investiture Ceremony 2024 in Goa today. 
The ceremony will be organised at Naval Base INS Hansa to facilitate naval personnel who have demonstrated calendary, leadership, professional accomplishment and distinguished service of a high order. The awards including Nao Sena Medals Calendary, Nao Sena Medals Devotion to Duty and Vishrisht Seva Medals will be presented to the naval personnel at the function. During the ceremony, the CNS will also present the Captain Ravi Tir Memorial Gold Medal for promoting flight safety and the late VK Jain Memorial Gold Medal for pioneering research in the field of weapons improvement and electrical engineering. Unit citations to various units will also be awarded at the ceremony. With that, we come to the end of the morning news. Have a nice day.